So me and my art had an interesting week this week. Um, let me tell you about what happened this week. Um, from a high heart rate to um, maybe a, a cardioversion and then ending with a ablation. So you can see my resting heart rate is low. It was 43 on the 15th, it's 40 there. Um, on the 17th, 44. On the 18th, so this is my normal. In the 40s is my resting heart rate. But then on Monday morning, I felt something was wrong. There you can see the resting heart rate is 72. Um, and I knew something was wrong. First I thought it was a tick bite. It was a tick like this that bit me on my back and I thought that it was this what gave me my high heart rate. Uh, my heart rate was not out of them but uh, it was very high or my racing heart rate was high. Yes, my GP sent me uh, for a COVID test because um, she said it's not a tick, uh, possibly uh, COVID, so I went for a COVID test. Then I decided, no, I must go to my cardiologist. So the next morning, I went to my cardiologist. My cardiologist said uh, it's not a tick bite. Um, and when they did the ECG, they said it's uh, definitely a flutter, not the AFib. It's a flutter, so it's been a while so, since I've had a, a flutter. And they decided they want to go and uh, cardiovert me. But then he's, uh, my cardiologist said maybe they'll first just um, talk to the, the EP in Pretoria to find out doesn't he want to see me that way. So, uh, but then he said, no, let's do a cardioversion. And I went to Mary Clinic here in Bloemfontein first. So I was waiting at MediClinic to be booked in so that I can do the cardioversion. Um, but then the doctor's office of Pretoria phoned me and said, no, they, I must come to Pretoria. It's about 400 k's from Bloemfontein. They want to do uh, uh, ablation on me. So there I went. Uh, Wednesday night I went to um, Pretoria. This is the courtyard of the Zuid Afrikaans Hospital. This is an EP lab you see with a big TV screen that they map to your entrance of the hospital. Six o'clock the first day I was ready to go in and um, you'll see that this hospital has a new part and also an old part uh, but it's uh, really a nice hospital. Zuid Afrikaans Hospital in Pretoria. Um, it's the first one time I've been there and that's the hospital where my EP does his ablations. Um, he also explained to me that the ablation for the flutter is, let's say, easier to do um, and more successful usually than the ablation uh, the, for the AFIP. Um, and it's a wonderful hospital, really. Everyone there treated me so, so good and um, I actually enjoyed my stay there. 
I also went for an ultrasound at the other cardiologist. Um, yes, my ablation was about, uh, I think, about two hours long. And um, my EP, said, the EP doctor said he's very happy. I th he thinks it's about 95% successful. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But uh, maybe for those guys that already did the ablation, they say that um, about, I think, up to until six weeks after the ablation, it's still that you have palpitations. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm very hopeful and I'm glad for the opportunity that I did go for the ablation and I hope it's going to work.